Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is another UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. As promised, I am still doing the standard format of the uh, UK mod showcase and I'm introducing them and talking about them and whatnot. I have been experimenting with YouTube shorts as that seems to be the big thing at the minute. YouTube are really trying to push them, which I'm just trying to use to help try and grow my channel a little bit. But also, I think it might be a good tool for those mods that I don't get time to feature or maybe get released after I recorded this. So... Yeah, I will be still doing the existing format of the UK Mod Showcase, but I might be doing some shorts as well, just to show off some mods that maybe I haven't featured. We are on a brand new map as well, and I am changing the format ever so slightly for the Mod Showcase, which is going to be more like I did for the top 10, where I just go straight into the mods rather than faffing around looking for them. And I'm going to be remaining in this view without the UI, so we can appreciate the mods in all their glory. And then at the end of the episode, well, towards the end of the episode, I'll go through all the stats of the vehicles featured. Uh, for today's episode, we're going to be starting with a couple of road vehicles. We've got the new Route Master, the new bus for London, or whatever it's called. Uh, this is by, who is this by? AU1990HK. This is a port from Transport Fever 1, but it still looks really good, I think. It's a good good model and I think it stands up to the new graphics with Transport Fever 2. You might have done some work with it actually, but yeah, it, it is ported over from Transport Fever 1. It's good to see. I think a few people will be happy to see these finally in Transport Fever 2. And there are different variants. This is the obviously the three door with the rear door. This is like the first ones that came out. Capacity of about 20, available from 2011. And it just looks really, really good, doesn't it? It looks nice. And obviously this is the three-door. The three-door is the long wheelbase version and the, are the short wheelbase versions, which we'll be taking a closer look at in the depot in a little bit. Next, we're going to take a look at the Scania R-Series Trucks by Jones. I was following Jones on Twitter for quite a while, following the progress of these, and I'm really glad excited to see these released they are a really good model with loads of different trailer variations as well you will require two sets of mods for this to work so we have the cargo assets which were already available and the trailer sets as well so you get different variations and just following this truck this hasn't got anything on board at the minute but it appears that especially for the con mats you do have different variants so I saw one truck was carrying like pallets of bricks and another truck was carrying uh, pipe sections so I think there might be a little bit of variation within the Conmat's flatbed side. What are these called? Oh well, I forgot what the name of the trailer is. We'll take a look in the depot anyway. But yeah, just really good to see these in the game and it does actually introduce... I'll go over to... where are we? Over here. We, this is one of the assets that can be placed. We do have tipper trailers and I think these are the first articulated tipper trailers we've actually had for the game. So that's just the asset version which is a bit, in, a bit sank in the ground there. But well, it's really good to see one of these kind of tippers in game. Uh, this is this is the new map. This is where I'm producing my grain and I've just produced a little bit of a container terminal. But hopefully it's just it's not finished yet, but hopefully the map will have a lot more detail as I go along and yeah, finish it basically because it is a really big map. It's got really long rail journeys in it as well, so we don't end up with kind of going into the station and messing around with the camera angles. So yeah, that's that's a little bit of the map. I might introduce a little bit more as and when I get around to finishing it, but I do want to look at another variant of the truck although we will take a full look at the Scania's in the uh, depot later. So as with the MAN F2000, we do have com company branded trucks and trailers. This is a DHL curtain cider with a triple axle uh, Scania, which but this is the lower horsepower, but there are different variants on the horsepower as well. But again, really good model, nice trailer. It's good to have the branding on it, although there are unbranded ones if you prefer to have kind of line colorable, line colorable cabs at least. But it's just a nice nice truck let's see if we can actually well we've got the bus in bus block in our way but it does have like a i think it has a unique engine sound i think possibly so yeah there we are just a nice 
truck from road vehicles we are going to head over and check out our first train which is something a little bit different but i thought it was just a little bit of fun so i'm going to feature it and that is thomas the tank engine <laughs> yes it's in the game finally well some people might say finally it's not something i'm going to be using much i don't think but it's just a little bit of fun this model by this is by Tomix, available in 19 46 i think this has encouraged me to build another branch on this map actually which is going to have steam locomotives on it this is my preserved branch line for especially for steam locomotives so they don't have well they don't get in the way of my kind of express trains on the main line and they don't have catenary over the top of them as well which i know irks some people when you have steam trains with catenary over the top so this is catenary free and it doesn't get away get in the way of my mainline trains because on this new map i'm going to have trains permanently going up and down because uh, i'm basically delivering goods on the map so i've got trains running up and down all the while so yeah just help separate that and i'm going to turn it into a little bit of a preserv preservation or preserved route anyway which is going to look a little bit different from the the main line as we go into a station which i said was <laughs> the point of actually making this map but we'll only turn around anyway and enjoy Thomas for a little while. This is going to be the last time I'm probably going to look at Thomas Tank Engine, but if you want to put into work on your map, he is available now. And it's a it's a good model as well, actually. You know, not uh, not saying it's a bad model. It is pretty good. Just a bit of fun. There we are, Thomas the Tank Engine on Transport Fever Two. Next, we have the repaint, the DB Cargo repaint of uh, Young Lennon's Class 381. The repaint's done by a Feline Instant, and this is just a goods carrying uh, version of the 381. So they painted over the windows, and now it's just carrying goods. Which I know this is a, it's a made up train anyway, with a made up purpose, but I don't suppose it's that unrealistic, not with the Class 319s being converted for goods or caged goods. So yeah, I suppose it could stand in for that, I guess. And it's a pretty good, pretty good reskin. And if you want to do, I mean, these are capable of 110 miles per hour, aren't they? So you want, if you wanted some high speed, good delivery, especially into your, maybe into the heart of a city where you don't really want to be using diesel locomotives, then I guess this is a good train to use. It does just carry goods, but uh, I think that's probably an accurate use for these it would be it would either be post or parcels or something like that wouldn't it or delivering to supermarkets in city centers i think that's what the 319 conversions are going to be doing running into possibly london is it with deliveries and things like that to cut down on lorry trips so that is yeah the db reskin and repurposing of the class 381 not when's this available from uh can't uh, 2009 it's available from and obviously we are going to take a look in the depot shortly at this in more detail as we just enter onto the the main line this is the up down slow this is what all my freights and diesel the mus are on and then we've got the up down fast next to it which is going to be for any express trains that i feature which we are going to take a look at imminently but i've still got still got a lot of work to do on this map but it just gives us a nice long run so we can enjoy the train in all its or the locomotive in all its glory next we have something a little bit special it's the flying network rail flying banana which is the net new network rail measurement train available i think it's the early 2000s i'm not entirely quite sure on the specific date but it's early 2000s this is another reskin by feline instant with the original class 43 power car by killer cans and the mark three carriages by young Lennon. I think I've got this in the right formation, five cars, and it does have does have the two different variants or three different variants of carriages, which we'll take a look at in the depot. But I think uh, yeah, it's just good to see. This is a passenger vehicle, which I think is good because it allows you to use it up and down on your maps. It does actually have a purpose rather than just not having a use at all. So yeah, it's good. It's got obviously you wouldn't have passengers in there. You'd have a few people in there with the computers and whatnot but you wouldn't usually have passengers but yeah it's good good to see this in the game yeah as we come back into a station <laughs> after me going on about we've got long journeys which don't come into stations i'm not picking my moments very well but it is a new map and it's sort of a new format for me so we're still still learning 
But yeah, these, by the sounds of it, have the MTU engines, which I guess is accurate because it would have had re-engined units rather than the Eastman uh, Volante engine. So we'll just take a quick look at that. I'll just actually I'll pause the game and we'll just take a. It's not the best in the station, but you've got the, the different variants there. So that's just a standard carriage, and then two sort of what would they called other ones, <laughs> other other carriages, which we will take a look at in the depot any minute now. So we've got the UI back up. First thing we're going to check out is the actual vehicle depot. So we're going to go buy a new vehicle. And down the bottom here, we've got the new Scania R R6220. So that's the horsepower, 628 horsepower, but you've got the 730, 730 horsepower variants as well. The top speed is, is the top speed any different? I shouldn't imagine so. Yeah, 56. But obviously if, you're, if you've got a route which is maybe going uphill or something, then you might want a little bit more power. Obviously that is going to cost you, oh, is it? No, no, it's not going to cost you. Or is it? No, it's not. I thought it would have cost you more money because the game does generally work off horsepower, but obviously not. Oh, it just works off speed and capacity. Capacity of each of these is 52, which just does a little bit more than the F2000, which are like a, you know, another truck by, pretty sure that's by Jones as well. But you can see you've got the different variants where the col line colourable cabs, so you've got tankers, timber platform, you've got the tipper there, which I mentioned, the drop side, that's what I was the name I was looking for. A container one, which I guess will have containers if it's carrying products and a curtain tider. And then you've got the company branded, you've got the tankers and company branded curtain side trucks as well. And then the same with these R730. So you might just want to go for the 730, wouldn't wouldn't you really? <laughs> go for that extra power if it's not going to cost you any anything extra. But like I said, the those figures are set by the game based on certain factors. Uh, next we're going to look at the new route master you can see here we've got the open rear door actually i think looking at it it might be all the same wheel bank base i thought there might have been a variant in the wheelbase but there isn't but you do have the three door just they're all i think pretty much london transport uh, transport for london color schemes aren't they just different variants obviously they're usually red but you do have some other different variants within that top speed of 50 188 horsepower capacity of 20 which i guess is balanced especially when you compare it to something like the alexander alx 400 it has a capacity of 23 and the olympian i think has a capacity of about 20 as well so it's balanced within the game and it's balanced within other mods of the type as well so there we are that's the uh, the two raid vehicles we're going to head over to my brand new depot which i've been working on it's got more detail than i've ever done before i know it's still not high detailing but it's still a lot more detail than i've done previously so we'll head into here and we'll look at the 381 first of all which is a multiple unit and there are two different variants just I think one's a four car and one is a five car variant of that within the 381 pack. And then we're going to go to, we'll go steam and we'll go down there. Thomas the tank engine, top speed, 70 miles per hour. Okie dokie. That's, that's pretty nippy. <laughs> power, uh, 789 horsepower, 95 kilonewtons of tractive. I guess 1946, that might be about right, but I don't know. I always assume tank engines, especially small tank engines were pretty, you know, not that fast, but it might be accurate for the time. But then again, it is a made up locomotive uh from there we're going to go to our diesel locomotives we've got the class 4 d3 hst power cars and we've got loads and loads of different variants of the network rail one we've got planes we've got ones with the slogans on the side so and the forward and reverse facing ones which is all standard 100 yeah 148 that's about right isn't it limited 128 on 128 no 125 on the uk network but i think they are capable of 148 if they were allowed to and then we go down to the wagons we've got the passenger wagons or the passenger coaches rather and we've got the standard standard passenger train so the new measurement train there and then the buffet that's the word i was looking for two different variants of the buffet so you can you can make an accurate looking flying banana if you so wish capacity of 22 is just set off the standard mark mark three carriages so there we are the new measurement train is finally in transport fever too i think a lot of people will be happy to see that and i think i'm going to leave you with the new measurement train as it is quite a good special train isn't it a lot of people do look out for it so i'm going to unpause the game i'm going to let him get up to speed and i'm going to say until next time bye bye